Hey everybody, I promise this is the last video today. God, I haven't made a video in months, except for the Facebook the stuff for Vegas. But anyway, I need to say this. It's really important. I, you know, the pictures from Vegas make me look really bony thin on the Friday night dress because the dress was too big. I understand that, but I didn't have time to get another dress. But that led to really kind, caring comments. I mean, actually, I think I brought up the discussion about percentage of body fat. Um, because everybody else looked much more, at least normally, robustly healthy. And they're younger, and that's kind of what happens when you're younger and you lose the weight. You're not going to end up with the same kind of body shape that I ended up with. And I also am about 20 pounds smaller than I ever expected to be. But, you know, I just followed the, the path in front of me, and this is where it stopped. Um, and when you've wanted to be thin, thin your whole life, and now I want to be healthy my whole life, um, you you just don't want to short circuit the process um, and I'm grateful that my psyche didn't screw me up and make me jump off the train before it was done blah blah you've heard me tell this story before anyway I knew about my BMI and we know that BMIs are just so-so for real information um, percentage of body fat has always intrigued me because when I went to see the first uh, plastic surgeon in Virginia he said I didn't have any body fat left so there'd only be three or four pounds of skin to take off um, and that kind of surprised me. There was no body fat left because I said, well, look at this pouch on my saddlebag. There's some fat in there. Well, it's mostly skin, whatever. So percentage of body fat, there's a calculator for that on the computer too. And I did that formula and I thought it was an okay range, but in Vegas it came up again because I was discussing it and someone said, what is your body fat percentage? And I said, it's whatever. I think I thought it was 21% or 23 or whatever I thought it was. And they said, really? It looks you look smaller than that. And so I thought, you know what, the first thing I'm going to do when I get home, when I have a chance, is get my body fat tested. And so I went to the gym today for the first time uh, with all the other stuff happening and um, said, please help me do this. So I grabbed the little handheld thing and he set it up for a woman my age, my height, my weight. And it came up with, I want to tell you this, oh, shoot, no, I don't have it. It's on my Facebook page. 21 point no 24.1% and a healthy range for a woman between 40 plus years to 60 plus years is 20% to I'm going to tell you 30% or something like that it might be 40% no 30% 20 to 30% so I'm 24.1% of body fat percentage of my body which I know it doesn't look like that but that's the way I'm built it's the way the weight loss distributed on myself now remember I was an extreme pair I was always two sizes smaller on top than I was on the bottom now what does that tell you I'm wearing a size four jeans that means it might be a zero top but I don't buy anything like that because I've got really broad shoulders I mean really broad shoulders for my a for my size my frame and um I don't like to feel squeezed in things so I buy fours regardless. What I buy is a small top, a four dress, a four four pants, four jeans. Right now, who knows? Two years from now, I'll probably be a six or an eight. Fine. Um, but the fact is, now I don't have to worry. But I wanted to say, for the record, when I went to check my body fat percentage, if it was below normal, I was going to set myself to a way to increase it in a healthy way, um, and I would have done that. I want to be healthy. I want to eat nutritious food. I want to put nutritious food in my body. I want to be strong and healthy. I'm 53. Um, I have to do everything I can to be strong and healthy. I want to be this way till I'm 90 plus, and I'm not messing with my health. Um, so that being said, and my BMI was 21.4. That's fine too, and because we know BMIs are not really all that they say anymore to what you should judge yourself by exactly. So in combo, I'm 130 pounds. I'm 5'5 five five instead of 5'6 anymore. 130 pounds, 24.1% body fat, 21.4% BMI, and I wear a size 4. And I'm perfectly fine. And next week is my 19th month anniversary of the day I had my surgery. I have gone from 248 pounds before I went to the process um, to 130 sometimes 129 so there you go 120 pounds or so and feeling um, feeling great feeling great been sick one time in the last 19 months one week in the winter when I had a little bit of a cold that lasted about five days I don't remember a winter that I didn't get something 
So that's it. Peace out, guys. I love you. Thanks. Just wanted to share that. Anybody that's getting really, really thin and people talk to you about being too thin and looking unhealthy, go check your percentage of body fat out. That's a really good thing because women do need some fat in their bodies. Bye.